slush, slush, slush. Each of us is a walking river held together by paper-thin skin. We are water. We are blood. We are tears. And we are urine. We are all connected. We are not separate from the waters of the world. Here in Colorado, in particularly in this part of Colorado, our external watershed is Beaver Creek, but our internal watershed is this, urine, <laughs> fresh from this morning. It's something each of us do every single day, and we hardly ever talk about it. I have been passionate about water for over 30 years and have explored this element through my art. All of the examples that you'll see tonight are my artwork. We are the language of salmon bones. We are the book of drought. We are turquoise waters flowing to the sea. Rivers are alive. They're just as alive as you and me, each one of us. They have a mouth called a delta, a body called a watershed, and they have a circulatory system. Even glaciers have tongues. These glaciers are melting very rapidly. They are receding up mountain sides. This is the Nisqually Glacier on Mount Rainier. When that glacier recedes all the way up the mountain, what's going to happen to that Nisqually River? In order to make this visible, I carve books out of ice and embed them with native riparian seeds. These are time-based ephemeral sculptures. The seeds form an international ecological language, a restoration text, a language of the river. I carve the books into the form of an open or closed volume embedded with native seeds after I've discussed this very closely with each specific riparian specialist, stream ecologist, and botanist to decide which are the best seeds. These books are then launched into rivers as an offering. The seeds float downstream so that the seeds can plant themselves. Now, what are, what are some of the things that plants do for our rivers? They filter, they act as a filter, exactly. They filter pollutants, they mitigate floods, they provide shelter and food for riverside dwellers. They provide us, as humans, with wonderful aesthetic pleasures. Sometimes, just like us, rivers get sick. This is really to our detriment because we simply cannot survive without clean water. This makes me really sad. Sometimes the pollution is very visible, such as this gyre of pollution floating in the river Scheldt in Antwerp, Belgium. Other times, we would have to look through a microscope in order to see what the pollutant is. Like if we took a microscope here in Beaver Creek and looked through that, what would we see? What would we find in our water? In this particular case, it's cholera that I enlarged an image of and put onto this scroll floating in the Narmada River in India. These cast bronze arms that I sculpted hold an offering of water to pass down to future generations. Each of you have been given a packet of seeds. Please keep these in your pocket as a gift from me, as a way to remember and remind yourself to take care of your water and your river 
wherever you live. Now, please stand up. I really want you to stand up, if you would. Make a pledge to your river, wherever you live, whatever your watershed is, and as loudly as you can, say out loud with me, slosh, slosh, slosh. Thank <laughs> you.